Friends, uh, welcome back to the series on uh, statistics and probability, especially probability. You start with probability and try to be as clear as possible about the concepts, because as we will see, many professionals make mistakes. Why? Lack of clarity of mind, lack of understanding of the core concepts. So let's start with the mother of all problems, <coughs> fat tails. <laughs> or more scientifically, it's called thick tails. Fat tails being a special case of very, very thick tails. But, you know, casually we can call them fat tails. So, what are fat tails? <laughs> Whenever I ask uh, people, they tend to answer, well, uh, you know, uh, remote events, events of big impact, tend to happen more often. No, it's the opposite. Remote events happen less often, but when they happen, they command much greater effect on the total properties. So the definition of fat tail is a small number of observations in, in a given data set will represent the bulk of statistical properties. So let's take a case of an extreme fat tail process. You remember, we had a million minus one observation as zero. And then, and then we had one observation at a million. What is the average? One. But most of it, all of it, came from one observation. That's fat tails. You, had, you sample from the population of the planet. You got three, four billion people who have no money. You add uh, Bill Gates randomly out of the people on a you know on your hero list. Uh, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, either one of them. One, he'd be the entire wealth plus noise. <laughs> you have a little bit of noise here. So that's a fat tail process. <clears throat> now let me try to get more technical. A little more, more, but not, too, not, not really technical. And let's take a probability distribution. This is the Gaussian probability distribution. One sigma minus one sigma. We know that about 15.6% of observation happen beyond one sigma. So usually I quiz people, I tell them what happens when you fatten the tails of the Gaussian. What happened in that corridor? 67.8% of observation is supposed to take place here. What happens? You know, before I wrote my book, answer, typically, well, fewer observation here and more here. No. You have more observation here and fewer observation in the tail beyond one sigma. Because the event that will happen there, the deviations will be fewer above one sigma, but when they happen, boy, they, 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 they're gonna be important. So that's the definition of fat tail. And this is where, uh, you know, mistakes tend to be made in interpretation. The central thing about fat tails, and we'll see that progressively throughout the series, that people say, oh yeah, we know if the markets are fat-tailed. Oh, we know economic life is fat-tailed. If you knew it, you wouldn't be writing those papers. If you knew it, you would not be using concept like standard deviation. If you knew it, you wouldn't be using variance. You wouldn't be using correlation. Like in IQ studies, they correlate IQ, which is entailed by construction, by the way. Okay, Gaussian. Sort of entailed to uh, income, <laughs> fat tailed. You can't. Can you do regressions when you have fat tails? No. Why? Something called the Gauss-Markov theorem. It's an assumption. It's supposed to hold. Otherwise, you don't have a regression. So a lot of things go out the window under fat tails. For now, for the next few presentations, we're going to be intuitive, presents breakdown concepts with maximum clarity because what these professionals who make these mistakes, what they share in common is that their mind has a clarity of a New York sewer the day after Thanksgiving. 
So you can imagine the clarity of mind of professors. So they don't get it. I mean, they, they have so much junk in their head that they don't get the essential. But that if you accept that it's fat-tailed, then regression, all these things, have absolutely no information. No, they're not informative, to use the technical word. You've got to do something else. And of course, we can do science, more rigorous science, but it requires some effort. Great. So for now, thank you very much and have an excellent uh, whatever weekend. Bye.